Essentially, Siemens are here today to start a movement, a movement which will ultimately result in Ireland becoming the best place on the globe to do digital business. We also want to demonstrate our expertise in the real world and the virtual world of digitalization to help our customers and our partners to build better quality products at lower cost with greater efficiency. The main findings from the Siemens digitalization report are that only 30% of the respondents actually have a digitalization strategy in place. And of that 30%, less than half are actually far along in the strategy itself. So not a very high degree of implementation. This report is designed to inform the discussion in Ireland about the state of digitalisation and also to let people know what they can do to start on the digitalisation journey. Companies embracing digital today need to start at the top. It's important the executives know what's going on, they need to understand digital and new technologies and how this will impact their company, their business, their industry. Ireland is on the same journey, I think, as every other country from digitalisation. You know, it's an evolution of, of the process here. So I think Ireland is, is uniquely poised to be able to capitalise on digitalisation across our manufacturing uh, companies here in Ireland because we have a unique blend of technology companies and manufacturing companies and together that, that can mean that Ireland get ahead of edge on digitalisation. There's a number of barriers that companies really experience from day one and that's about the cost of data. People have a perception that it's expensive to get data. It can be quite expensive. People don't always know what they need and the quality of the data they have. So there's quite a barrier in overcoming that and understanding what your starting point is and what you need to do to address that. Then the second thing is around training that people feel they don't have the expertise in-house and this makes them reluctant to invest in something again in-house because they don't have the expertise to deliver on it. The first positive thing we know is that from our members they're telling us that they recognise the importance of digital skills and there are many different ways that engineers can fill that skills gap if they need to. One of them is through professional development and training and the other one is making sure that whatever training they're pursuing is supporting the digital strategy that their organisation has put in place. Mm -hmm.